Now we need to talk about why people do not like me. A lot of fans don't like me. Seems like most of the players don't like me. And most, most media people, most sports writers do not like me. Why? Well, let's start with the fans. Over the last 20 years, I mean, journalism has died. When my dad was doing this in the 80s and 90s, well, through the 2000s, he always was true to himself and what journalism used to be. But journalism is dead because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it's not as profitable as entertainment. Now, you could have a really intellectual debate on ESPN. It's not going to do the same numbers as a one-on-one -on -one interview with a famous player. And so what all these very important media organizations locally, nationally have figured out that there's no reason to even try with, with journalism anymore. Just give entertainment. And what entertainment is, is access journalism. It's uh, what I would call confirmation reporting. Just tell the local fans that their team is good, that they're going in the right direction, that the plan is going well, and, you know, give them one-on-one -on -one interviews with the players. And that's all you get. All you get nationally, locally, is people who are afraid to piss off teams or players or both. So what, you, what, what I realized when I first stepped into the market was, man, every single person here is either on the side of the team or the players or the advertisers or all three. And so my idea was, you know, why don't I be different? Why don't I prioritize the viewer? the reader because when you prioritize the player the team or the advertiser or the advertiser the viewer suffers all of a sudden you're not hearing the truth anymore you're hearing what the team allows you to say what the team what the players allow that person to say and over the last 20 years what's happened is basically all the local coverage has become this confirmation reporting i think people are used to it they forget that there's actually journalism out there and, and what that there's a utility for it. And I think players have become really soft to the point where they can't take any criticism. No criticism. I mean, Draymond Green's going on a whole crusade called New Media, which is essentially players critiquing themselves and not uh, criticizing at all. Criticism is off limits for new media. So I criticize. I'm not trying to be on the 49ers side. I'm not trying to gain points with the Niners. I'm not trying to gain points with their players or any players. I'm only trying to be loyal to you guys. And that's why I think I'm what I do is working. You know what I'm saying? And I think what the people that keep watching me have felt for years that everyone else that's talking about this sport is sort of beholden to people other than the viewers. You see what I'm saying? Management, players. And that's become the convention. Everyone afraid to piss off the very, very rich and powerful teams and players. And what's happened is the players are really enjoying this non-critical culture. So what's going to keep happening is players going to get mad at me because I'm critical, because I said something, because I'm not going to change. Another player is going to get mad at me. And then his teammates are going to rally to his defense. And then a bunch of media members, local and national, are going to pile on. And then people that I thought were my friends, who I helped, who I collaborated with, who I lent, lent my brand to, so this guy's part of my brand, will distance themselves from me and say, well, you know what? I don't 100% agree with Grant. He was in the wrong there, too. And that's okay. That's fine. It's a cycle. It's going to keep happening. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep elevating fans voices there's always going to be new fans coming through new contributors on the show because that's what i do best talk niners with niner fans and there's hundreds who have something to say want to be heard want to be on this channel and as long as i can provide that and no one else does i think i'm going to be in business anyway you know, George Kittle, Eric Arm said, you guys can hate me, but it's important for you guys to know why your fans like me. And keep it in mind, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here probably the rest of my life talking about this team until someone does what I do better than me. And so far, I haven't seen it. Seen a lot of guys try to do what I do. No one can do it better than me. Sorry. And maybe that's why people don't like me. All right, let's take some calls.
Let's take some freaking calls. I'm sorry I felt I had to say that. A lot of people don't get what I do. I don't even think I get got what I do until Dorian Levy explained it to me. Thank you, Dorian. I'm energized again. This is why I do it. Ezio Sanchez says you're not afraid to push the envelope as opposed to other journalists. Not trying to suck up to the team or play fake. Nice, great job. This is only the beginning for you. Thank you. Look, I, look, it's not just him, all right? Everyone does it this way. Even the journalists I like and respect, they're all giving you confirmation reporting. No one wants that smoke. Because, you know, if, look, if I worked for NBC or ESPN or The Athletic, I'd have to do it too. That's why I don't. Well, that's not why I don't. That's why I like not working for them. You know, I will never have to have a boss saying, hey, Grant, don't say that. Or maybe be a little nicer here. Th those people all have that. So I am actually, I have the license to be real more than anyone else. And that's why you guys are here. And I appreciate you guys for giving me that license.